WACP, the place to be, for we are creative people. And some place to be here on a on a tour. We're gonna we're gonna okay, so, um, good morning. Good morning. Uh, we are okay. we are um, going to do a, a walk on this botanical garden. This garden is created for the purpose of education, for the purpose of showing the use of medicinal plants or plants that are used for medicine. Mm -hmm. and also to keep up the, the, the education of our plants that helps us in our daily lives mm. for especially if there is any uh, uh, problem, sickness, some thing that we experience as not doing very well. So we use plants to help us to take care of that. Problem. Wow, so this is a curing uh, adventure, you know, an adventure of natural healing. That's correct. All right okay. then. Well, let's go. Okay, so we we I also want to say that as Maya people, we are fortunate enough to live in a lush forest. Yes. Uh, where the biodiversity is great. Plants that are so many in many ways different from each other and uh, the knowledge of how we use these plants are very important and mm -hmm. so there are those people who have studied local medicine or herbal medicine and put it to use in a way that we can take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. So with that I believe we are fortunate enough and some of these plants if you want to you can plant it otherwise they grow all over the place. Mm -hmm. The difference is that you have to know how to use it and that is the way uh, some healers go about using their plants. They have to have that knowledge mm -hmm. from, the, the, from their teachers or from their guardians so that they know what they're doing. So, so you can't just look at this video and start doing what you're doing because you got to know this and how much and where and all like so. Yes, it's going to be very difficult to do that because, you know, plants just don't happen to be that. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, uh, some serious herbalists also not only just go ahead and, and, and just take the plant, they have a certain prayer that goes along yes. with it to talk to the plant. I believe a connection mm -hmm. that that plant is going to be used for a particular reason. And so there has to be a correlation where, okay, we can agree basically. And so that is something that is also very important. So a person who wants to learn how to heal would have to come as a, as a result of his interest or maybe a herbalist look at this person and say look you're that person that can do this job so you get your training and so it comes like that and so it will take time but you have to go through the training and so that's how people learn more right. about the use of uh, plants as, as, as medicine all right well i'm very excited well mm -hmm. well let's let's see let's see what what we got here yes, uh, yes. again um I am going to talk about a few of these plants mm -hmm. as Maya people use it for their purpose. Mm -hmm. There is no scientific proof of it, but the one thing we know is that when we use the plants, it heals us. Mm -hmm. And so that's what matters most for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so we are going to talk about these plants as, as we use it for our purpose, not necessarily uh, scientifically proven, but yes, for that. all right, then uh -huh. yes, yeah. <laughs> so, I'd like to begin by just sharing a few plants. Like over here, we have common plants, plants that grows in the, in the rainforest, the trumpet tree, Cecropia peltata. And uh, this plant, as we have known it, uh, is used to help us whenever we are in the problem of uh, the sickness that is so common in Belize, uh, diabetes, mm. okay? And uh, the diabetic problem in Belize is, is very high because of our diet now. And I don't mm. really know why it's increasing, but that's the problem, I guess. I guess, like I said, it's the diet. And so, and so going to the doctor and knowing your problem is one thing, but to keep up and maintain and control it, it's going to be expensive because you have to use a lot of insulin and medicine to, to keep you up. But knowledge has 
proven to us that there are plants here that can help to do the same job. For us locally, this is the plant we use. We take a handful of leaves, uh, a good amount, we, we boil it in a, uh, I'd say maybe a gallon of water mm -hmm. for 25 minutes to extract the properties and then you then you you actually cool it then you you start your medication especially if you're the person that your your sugar count is 200 and over hmm. you're in trouble so that's when you take your medicine you start first thing in the morning midday and in the evening and if you can use this for 30 days mm -hmm. that sugar is going to come down and once it's down then you become normal again. The problem is you have to watch your diet and that's when you try to not eat any uh, very um, spicy food or mm -hmm. too much of the sugar, too much of it. You have to control it. You have to use herbs that are available for food here too, you know, mm -hmm. like you have the chaya and you have the kalaloo and those kind of, kind of green leafy plants that yes. helps to make your system better and to control that sugar so you would not, you would not have it immediately. Now, in the event that it goes up again after a period of time, you just repeat the process. Mm -hmm. And and that is how you can control it. And and it's cheaper and it works. All right then. Okay? So okay. that's how we use this plant. Yes, yes, right there. Mm -hmm. Diabetes is number one. Okay. So, it's uh, always important for us to be conscious about our environment and how these plants help us mm -hmm. and that um, the truth is you have to believe in it mm -hmm. you have to you have to believe that it's going to heal you because mm -hmm. there are those that come and they want to use it for one time mm -hmm. and that is not going to cut it we have to you have to go through a, a healing process right and sometimes then that helps but if you don't do that then you're not going to really get well. Okay. Okay. Um, here's a plant that um, um, my wife has always expressed to me is one of the best plants. We don't have an English name for it, but in Maya we call it Ishtukulil, and this, we are talking about this plant here. Hmm. Okay. And this plant uh, is, uh, is, is available. And when do we use it? Well, the word Ishtukuli literally means anxiety, mm. stress, and depression. Mm -hmm. A lot of our problems after a period of time in our life, we become depressed. Mm -hmm. And the depression, instead of manipulating it, it manifests itself in us. Mm -hmm. And it, it makes us sick. And that can mean anything. You start to feel like you're going to, you know, you just have a problem and, and you can't control mm -hmm. whatever it is. And so sometimes people go overboard with either uh, you start to fight and you become violent and you become crazy and, you know, it's like that. Unbalanced. So, yes. And the problem with that is that we have been taken over by this problem that we are not able to control it. Mm. And so we react different. And how do we, how do, we do that? So, and it triggers other problems. Mm -hmm. So what happens many times is that people come here, family members have to tie them to control them. Mm. And then what you do is, the way I see it happen here is that you take a whole bunch of these leaves and boil a, 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 a good five gallon water mm -hmm. for about 25 minutes to extract the properties and then you slow it down or you you let it cool down a little bit and you want to you want to use this when the person is still under that problem mm -hmm. to begin mm -hmm. and then you start to beat him mm. with the water a little hot not not really hot to burn the person but so that it can get he can get triggered and so when you start to do this the person might give trouble etc but after a period of time he becomes relaxed hmm. and many times what happens is there's a there's a the person drop asleep for a period of time mm -hmm. and when that person wakes up now he knows that he's somewhere else he's in his right senses and sometimes you you have to give a little bit of counseling and then begin to repeat the process now this plant is also a sedative 
you try to put the person to put the person down so mm -hmm. that he can get out of that 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 mind to become more conscious and, mm -hmm. and clear in thinking and be able to try to go back into his life so many times the uh the uh the the person that gets better would not go back again so easily mm -hmm. all right so there's another issue here other people come and they say look i feel the ground spinning mm -hmm. or the seal the ceiling is spinning as I'm laying back in my bed. So mm -hmm. like there's a, an uncomfortableness there. Mm -hmm. So what happens there too is that they take the same plant, they uh, they create what they call a herbal bath to extract some of the toxin and the problem that, that, that is, is restricting your, your system. We believe that's an imbalance mm. and that things are not flowing uh, uh, in balanced together in in the in the in the nervous system so you have a you have a, an imbalance so to do that you you use this to get rid of that problem hmm. so that that is how this plant is uh, used sometimes mm -hmm. you can take it in to drink and some and at their time then you then other times you take it for for a horrible bath okay which is which is, which is how it works and so eventually you get over that problem hmm. so so you have all of these herbal medicines uh, right here growing on the property and you can um, use them yeah. as needed. Yes, and, and then um, we went farther ahead and then my wife uh, extract the properties of the plants and combine it with other plants to give it the same property. And hmm. then she used it to bottle it so that either in the form of a soap or in the form of oil. Mm -hmm. If it's in the form of the soap, you want to do your healing. If you have that problem, mm -hmm. you just keep uh, using the soap and washing yourself with it, which does the same problem over a period of time. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're going to use the oil, then it becomes an oil that you use to massage yourself if you have that kind of sickness and you, and you repeat this process until you use the medication and it gives you the same result. All right then, mm -hmm. yes indeed. Okay. So that is how we use this plant. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for sharing. So we move along. And uh, again, plants are very much part of our, our way of life and it means a lot to us. Mm -hmm. Now here's another plant I'd like to show you. This is very common and many times uh, we missed the point, but here is, there is no English name again, but we call it in Maya, Omoche, meaning, meaning, some people can say it a stinking leaf or stinking plant, but the truth is, it is a plant that has a high, high scented or a high uh, smell. So when you crush it, and I think that because of not knowing the plant, people really overlooked it but hmm. whenever you really want to get rid of mosquitoes Whoa. you take this and you rub it on your on your arms wow. on your face behind the back of your head wow. to repel uh, 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 mosquitoes hmm. and this and this is one of the things that we have learned to to recognize and as knowledge has provided then what my what we did is we started to look for ways in which we can make the product. Mm. So you take this same uh, plant, mm -hmm. you extract the properties, you combine it with other other elements mm -hmm. or other medicine, and it will give you a, a very good sense of making insect repellent mm -hmm. by using this plant and preserving it with some oil, and you mix it with with other 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 other. Um, uh, preserve, I'm um, not preservative, but like a little bit of alcohol to protect it yes, so you won't get yes. spoiled. Mm -hmm. So you can use it for a period of time. So, so that's how we make the insect repellent. And so you can just spray it on your skin. The reason for the oil is so that it would stick on your skin and be able to mm -hmm. to stay there for a while, so that the mosquitoes won't continue to chew you up and so on. So, so in insect repellent. That's right. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's that's a. Uh, Another way we use plants, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and then um, again, 
the power the power of plants is, is so amazing that um, most of these plants here do have a purpose mm -hmm. for many uses mm -hmm. actually so we are just talking about the, 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 the medicinal use of plants for us here okay mm -hmm. um, we also have we also have um, a plant right here we call that the negrito tree and the, the, the name of the, the plant is just a common name uh, the scientific name is there um, this plant is used uh, very basic uh, sometimes uh, you go and you buy food along the roadside or on the street side or you eat something bad and you begin to have diarrhea mm -hmm. now what usually happens then is after you start getting into that trouble then you go and you take the bark of this tree you dissect it or you, you chop it into bits and pieces you boil it for for at least 30 minutes or so mm. you cool it and you and you drink it mm. now you take it maybe another half an hour later for about three more times then your diarrhea is gone mm. okay so that's what we use this plant for and that's how we believe that plants has the power to heal mm. so that's very important for us and so again there are other plants that works for the same purpose you, but you have to know what plants you're using mm. so that is the use of that plant. diarrhea mm -hmm. all right yes 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 Now, as we move along, we'll skip this one, but we go to the next one. Mm -hmm. And um, our way of life is really dependent on the experiences of the elders mm -hmm. and see how how they uh, take care of their problems. So, here's another um, plant called wari palm. And I am referring to this plant right here, this one, and this one, and this one. So that's a plant that grows in the forest, very common. Mm. Um, there comes a time, sometimes when you are doing your work, mm -hmm. or you're walking, or you're busy doing what you have to do, and all of a sudden you collapse, mm. or you drop, or you begin to feel bad. Mm -hmm. And many times... Uh, you drop and you, you were supposed to be healthy but something went wrong so mm. you drop and now when you get up you feel sick and there's a whole lot of problem that starts to happen to you headache fever after a while now in our belief there is a thing that we call bad wind but when we say bad wind <laughs> we mean we mean negative energy our our system sometimes are weak so when it encounters with negative energies mm -hmm. then it manifests itself in you and get into that problem okay and so you have a headache now after a period of time you have fever and so on and so what we do is then we because we believe that this is something that 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 that, that uh, we encounter mm -hmm. we feel that the pressure is in the head and everything else is happening because of that problem so this is when we come to this plant and uh, of course we look for, 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 if you look closer here, look at this. This is, um, this is the needle here, see? Okay. The spine out of this mm -hmm. plant. And, and um, tradition, they say, okay, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to try to help you so that you can relieve yourself of that problem hmm. so we we make we, we sit you down and we look at your third eye or the chakra point and we say look watch me and we go one two three and we and we 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 we, we puncture the right that spot wow and then there's a spit of blood hmm. uh, you do that one or two or three times so that so that um you can um, you can extract that pressure so that's like 
acupuncture is acupuncture yes mm. that's what we are that's what we are doing to help mm. with that scenario and the needle actually had the needle point actually has the healing in it that's right mm. that's right right here see wow okay so this is something that we use to do acupuncture to, to extract that um, problem and then like I said after a period of time you get to feel better again hmm now this is traditional way of doing things so but we don't use needle I mean metal mm -hmm. but we use uh, uh, spines from other plants or other, um, yes, natural. other plants natural plants so we won't be able to infect or hurt anyone hmm. such, yeah so you don't even need to heat that up or do anything to sterilize it you, or anything because it's wash already it a little bit with, with maybe if you want to wash, wash it with alcohol oh okay and then you just do that and it's a one-time use you use it you throw it away you find and get another one okay. Uh -huh. okay we don't use this on other people you don't share it no we don't share that needle yeah. okay. all right so there. that's how we use this needle yes mm -hmm. all right so we move along <clears throat> yeah the plants are very important for us like I said uh, it's not only for um, it's not only for uh, medicine that we use it, mm -hmm. we use it for food we use it for um, we use the plants to do um, other other touch with it okay. so, so there are different uses of plants and so um, every day we have used for plants for for either to get food mm -hmm. or to go and, 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 and look for food mm -hmm. and get fruits. Sometimes you get the, the, the uh, shoots mm -hmm. and you extract that and you 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 prepare it for food. So different kinds of things. Mm. Now here's another item I'd like to share. This is the philodendron. There are so many species of philodendron that grows in the tropical rainforest, but we are looking at one of these. There are many other ones that use for other reasons, but this one, they use it uh, for um, basically to, 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 to heal uh, a specific problem that we have, like a sickness, a sore that grows on the skin. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it grows right on the face, behind the ears, and it's a very painful um, um, sore. Mm. And whenever you scratch it, it just keeps growing. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's a hard sore to, to, to cure. Mm. Um, it's maybe also equivalent to, to skin cancer. Um, so what happens when that is happening, so you take the leaf, you put it in a pestle and make poultices. Mm -hmm. You scratch it and you apply it on the sore. It burns very, very painful, but it helps to take care of the sore. The sore will not be healed in just one or two cures. You have to repeat it for a period of time. And mm -hmm. because it's a very hard sore, it eventually um, eh, 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 die. Locally, we call the sore B sore, or some people refer to it as Ishmaniasis. And... I believe the sore is caused by an insect that takes care of when it when it when it when it, when it um, bites. Mm -hmm. The protozoa grows and then it starts to affect your skin. So so you really need to heal it by using a strong medicine to kill that particular sore. Is that what they call a poultice? Uh. Yeah, when you grind it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. When you grind it, then that's. That's the pulses that we're talking about. Okay. And again, you, you, whenever you, 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 you redo your skin for dressing, you repeat the, you put an, a new amount and mm -hmm. then prepare it and, and get it there so that it, it will take care of the problem. All right then. So that's how I use. Yes, indeed. That's how we use the plant. Okay. Mm -hmm. But again, this is only one plant that we use. I'm sure there are other plants that will do the same job. The same thing. For the same sore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. But this is what we know uh, that works. All right then. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a, a situation where um, something that you used didn't didn't work good enough, and you had to go stronger or something of that nature? Um, yes, there are different times when that happens. 
and that not that is not only because the plant is is is, is um, not strong enough, mm -hmm. but sometimes there is also then the whole uh, uh, problem of, of spirituality. Mm -hmm. You are physically sick, but then you're also spiritually lacking. Mm. That is when you need to do a, a little different or an additional healing where you have to have uh, a little bit of cleansing, a little bit of um, pulse reading, mm -hmm. and, and to make sure uh, the person understand what is the additional problem, and then you might then get additional um, treatment mm -hmm. along with the or with the with the with the the herbs that you're taking, so okay. that it can work better. So that's like uh, you 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 need to uh, have a physical examination and uh, and determine where the person is yes. in relationship to their their problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the 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 person is usually. When that happens, when a person is not totally um, uh, believing in what you're doing, mm. he has a doubt in himself too, mm -hmm. and so that is something that 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 you have to work towards and try to work it out, and eventually, the the whole energy will turn positive, and then you can you can actually get the result. All right then. Okay. Yes, now indeed. here we have a plant that is called copal tree. Mm. This is a baby tree, it grows bigger, and how it happens is that there are those people that understand the tree and they would tap the tree. Mm -hmm. They would tap the tree and then leave the container there for a few days. Mm -hmm. when, when, when you come, you'll check that you have the sap of the tree, you're bleeding the tree. Mm. So you extract the sap, mm -hmm. and that sap becomes the sacred incense that Maya use. Hmm. for various activities okay. uh, they can use it for their Maya ceremonies for healing ceremonies for smudging for cleansing for doing all these different kinds of um, energy healing and this is also one of the the main ingredient that they use especially if you are the person that needs a little bit of cleansing that you're you're spiritually sick, or, or mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're spiritually not there. Mm -hmm. So this will help to make life better for you. Right. That is the combination of, of the healing that Maya people use, besides the, the, the regular Maya ceremonies that they conduct so that they can actually begin to... to well, they continue that connection with their, with their belief about, about the forest and about their spirituality, etc. All right, then. Et so this is a very important plant. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. <coughs> okay. As we move along, here's another plant that I know we use for another reason. There are different kinds of plants that we have. And this one particularly, well, I call it, or everybody who knows about this plant would call it a fishing vine. Mm -hmm. This is the vine that you use uh, to collect and then if you are going to want to do fishing uh, the way we do it is that we have to identify the river. Mm -hmm. Let's see this road here or this trail is the river and that's the upper, the upper part and this is the lower part. Mm -hmm. So I would take uh, uh, I would take cohoon stack and block the, the top of the river and, mm -hmm. and, and block the bottom hmm. so that whatever is within that, 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 that um, is enclosure contained will be, it will be contained and it will be for me to sort out what I need. Hmm. So once I have done that, then I take, we take about seven, five, seven men to go look for, the, for this vine mm -hmm. and take it into bundles and bring it to the river and we start to beat it. We beat it and we soak it in the water, we beat mm. it and soak it into the water and after a period of time, for the five minutes or so, you will begin to see fishes starting to, to sleep. Mm. They would come up on top of the water and they just drop on the side. Mm. What I have done is I, have, I am stunning the fish that I can select the ones I want to <laughs> take for, for food at home. Wow. So I would quickly go ahead and, and sort out 
the, the, the ones that I can take home mm -hmm. to eat. Mm. So after we have done that, then we have to get rid of the of the of the of the vines, and then we open the boat ends, and so that water can flow, and then the fishes can recover. Those that are drunk, mm -hmm. you can you, they can recover with fresh water with oxygen in the water. Wow, that is very yes. very very. So so this is this is a knowledge that is passed on. Mm. So this vine here is intended to use so that we can access other food hmm. but we don't use it for our own purpose mm -hmm. like to see it consume but to do other work with it okay to use this plant All so right this is then. very important wow uh, and this this knowledge is like passed down from from uh generation yeah, to generation correct. and that's correct and mm -hmm. the, the sad thing though is that um a lot of our younger people are losing the knowledge. Mm. They sometimes when you talk to them about this vine, they don't know which one it is. It's actually, there is a vine and there's a shrub mm -hmm. that does the same job. Okay, and 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 um, sometimes, yeah, the, the the indigenous people would naturally know these, but the younger people now that are that are extending their knowledge in education and so on mm -hmm. tend to forget the past, mm. and, and that's something that we should not forget because that's always important for us. Mm. So, so that is just the, the one other use of plant differently from taking it as medicine. All right then. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks for sharing. Uh, this next one is very important for another reason. Um, Spanish elder or it's a, it's a piper species that exists again in the rainforest and these are the ones that are almost close to, a, to, a, to, to the height of a tree, it's not a sh and a shrub, it's, it grows along and um, if you notice the leaf all the way there, mm. how we make, how we use this plant is besides the spiritual uh, aspect of it, mm -hmm. you take the plant, you take the leaf, you take the bark and you can take the root as well and you combine it. Mm -hmm. When you combine it, you make it turns into like a gel form mm -hmm. and when it's when it's finished then we use that for a lot of the times for pain mm -hmm. for swelling for rheumatism for arthritis and and any swelling on the body that that appears like something you hit against something and it's swollen so it's mostly for this way when we prepare this for external use mm -hmm. so you apply it properly uh, properly you very well and then eventually you get a result um, especially if it's rheumatism or arthritis or lower back pain etc hmm. a lot of the times um, local people come and get their their um, or they come and, and get their medicine and, and and use it and it works for them okay okay so so um, the name of the product is pain away to take away the pain so it's hmm. got pain away okay mm -hmm. So do you, do you have um, healers and um, people that do the same work that you do that come looking for product? Yes, we have people. Actually, I'll be honest with you, uh, middle-aged people and older-aged people are the ones that are the customers that want, that buys this, mm -hmm. this, this item mm -hmm. because they have either arthritis, knee problem, lower pain or some pain and they use it and it works for them. Mm. Mm hmm okay yeah. all right then so that is how we use that plant yes and uh, finally we, we go to the last tree here that we use for, for, for medicine so let me ask you when, when you when you created this walking trail mm -hmm. uh, were obviously these plants were already here yeah but wow that's that that's got to be something to create a walking trail and have the plants right on the edge of the trail. Mm -hmm. Well, um, when we started this program uh, promoting our culture, mm -hmm. uh, along with my wife, we decided, well, maybe we should create a, a medicinal trail mm -hmm. that um, speak to plants that we use for medicine mm -hmm. and that we should be able to make the product and be able to, to, to let the the customers who are interested to use it and help them with their ailments mm -hmm. uh, and so so 
we we get to work and we started to route the trail and decided to to prepare it properly mm. and uh since we have done that uh we we made sure that it's in the walking uh, uh, safety and um, eventually then we put a surface on top of it so that there are those people who come and they don't want to make their 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 shoes muddy right so we we throw these um pebbles and and so that they can walk without even getting wet or muddy mm -hmm. Um, and we also did that because um, student groups come here and do the trail. As, mm -hmm. as an edu as, since sometimes they they are they are talking about local medicine or mm -hmm. indigenous medicine. Mm -hmm. when they come from wherever they're coming from, and they want to know how people use plant as medicine. Mm -hmm. So this is a good opportunity for them to see how we use plants and which plants we are talking about. Okay. So of late, um, while we were doing that, then. Uh, the cruise ship decided to come here and wants to know and see plants as well. So we had to further prepare it for them too, so that they don't really get their, 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 their so that the access is easy for them to walk Correct. without having any problem. Correct. So, so the cruise ship uh, guests come here and undo their, and do their tours for a little mm. bit and go back. All right so then. It's also for, it's also for everybody. Hmm. Um, um, we also have a group of local students that came and wanted to know, yes, what we do on our, with our plants. And sometimes it's amazing to know that these children really don't know the name of these plants. Hmm. They might see it, but they don't know the name, especially the use is if, if you're sick. That's something that some of them don't even know mm -hmm. or don't even want to try to drink it if it's not in the form of a pill. Or, or sweet. Or sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so... so that is how much it takes us to do the trail mm -hmm. so that it's walkable, it's, it's safe to walk, and, and it's not far. Mm. Mm -hmm. I noticed also that, that you made it, the, the trail comes back like a, like a horseshoe. Yeah, um, we did um, what we call a, 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 a trail that's, that you start from one point and it, it's in the form of a loop. Mm -hmm. so that you can start from one point and, and come back to where you started. So and it's not too far away yes, from the... and then sometimes we don't want people to go wandering and keep, right. going and keep going and you don't know where you're going. But but you do have additional trails that do go further, right? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. we do have. That is mostly for other visitors that want to stop here and they say, well, they want to see uh, some birds before breakfast or mm -hmm. before they go to mm -hmm. the evening come. So they do the additional trails. So... You can still see uh, some wildlife here. We mm -hmm. still have wildlife here, and um, like birds, like um, agoutis. Mm -hmm. Like we we just had howler monkeys passing through the other day, mm. and 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 kinkajous at night. Even snakes are here too. So really, if you come at night here and do your walk with 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 your light, mm -hmm. you'll see a lot of tarantulas, insects, mm. bats, mm -hmm. owls. Mm -hmm. You still see them around here. Mm. So it also makes a uh, interesting for those who are passing through and, and have something to do absolutely yeah so okay. it's 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 multi-use basically mm. and and so that's what that's what we offer and that's what we're trying to encourage people to if ever they want to know about indigenous way of life mm -hmm. this is one way to do it and then this is not the only place but this is one of the ways we use our our resources to help ourselves all right then mm -hmm. yeah so um while talking about medicinal plants and here's another plant that a lot of people just kind of like ignore it locally we call it hagpong plum and spondias mumbin mm. is the scientific name okay. and this plant is so common in the forest mm -hmm. all right and um one of the, the 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 first use is this plant uh again grows in the wild and the flower of this plant mm -hmm you can actually collect and use and use it if you have a problem with sore mouth, mm -hmm. sore throat, mm -hmm. and even and even um, uh, the flu or the cough. Mm. Okay, you can take the, the leaf, you either can boil it or soak it, but boiling would be the proper way mm -hmm. and, you, and you use it for that purpose. That takes care of the problem. Now is this is this coming from the vine or from the from the tree? Uh, this one is a different plant. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And this plant, this vine here, is a different plant. It is the root 
of the philodendron, okay. which is a plant that coexists with, with the big tree so that it can use it to survive as well. So these, there are three different plants here mm -hmm. living together in harmony, basically. Mm -hmm. It's not a parasitic plant, so it will not kill the tree. But there are those that are parasitic that would kill the tree. But yeah. this one is just living in harmony, symbiotic relationship. So they, so yes. they live together. Yes. Now, yes. The, the, the medicinal part that you use is the, the tree itself? Okay, yes, like I said, the, the, the tree itself, the flower, mm -hmm. right? That's what you use. Mm -hmm. Now, the fruit now, the fruit of this plant, which I'm sure common sense will tell you too, is that when the fruit comes down, mm -hmm. we collect it, and, and so with all fruits that are edible. We mm. collect it, we prepare it and make juice, or you can just eat it like that. What you're actually doing there is you're actually getting your vitamin C. Mm. There's no need to go and buy a bottle of, of, <laughs> of, of, of vitamins there yes. or whatever, yes. because that's the same thing you're doing. But you have to know that that is, the, that is what happens. So this, this tree has fruit and flowers. And flowers. Mm. Yeah. And then that's the, that's the, that's the, uh, the, the fruit now. Mm -hmm. Now the root now, you dig a little bit of the root, you make a little bit of decoction, and then you use that for when, uh, I'm sure a lot of people experience this, when you eat spicy food, mm -hmm. man, it gives you uncomfortableness in your stomach. Yes. You don't know if you want to go to the bathroom or you want to lie <laughs> down or sit down, but it's bad. Yes. When you do that, a little medication, you take two tablespoonful and you swallow it. Mm -hmm. In no time, it will flush you out. It will get rid of that problem that you always have and eventually you take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, you need it especially if you are the person who eat red meat, mm -hmm. if, you, if you are the person who, who actually have that case with uh, digestive system. Mm -hmm. When you do that, then you're cleansing yourself. And, and that's the root now. The bark now, you take the bark like everything else. This is one of the, the best used plant that is equal to to a, 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 a antibiotic, mm. okay? If you have diarrhea, you boil the, 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 the bark, it takes care of that problem. Mm. Dysentery, hemorrhoid. The bark is also used to heal gonorrhea. Mm. Yes, and, and so, so that is something that has always going to happen and the plant is always there and the bark helps with that kind of problem. Okay. And so, and so, this is how we use the plant. But sometimes, again, people really have a doubt as to whether that is true or not. Mm -hmm. But we have seen results from 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 a long time now. Mm -hmm. So, this is something that has always been in use mm -hmm. and will never change because we always have the same problem. So, so long as we have the the tropical rainforest and the plants, we can continue to survive because the remedies for these ailments are always available. All right, and then. so we are just utilizing some of that effort, some of the knowledge, uh, to convert it into to herbal medicine. All right then. And so we believe that um, uh, those people who have come and use it can tell you that they, they have good results and that they feel better now. Testimonies. Yeah. Yes. So I think that is how this plant will continue to help us with what we call wellness healing. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right then. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, sir. So, so we um, we continue to to advocate mm -hmm. and to encourage people to to actually use it. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The truth is, we're not saying that Western medicine is not good, but mm -hmm. I think it would be better if we can complement it. So yes. That it works both ways. No? Now, a lot of the medicines that's, that's in the bottles, in the capsules, in the, the needles and all, they actually use the same um, ingredient in that, okay. and, and but it's watered down, or how, uh -huh. how, how do you explain that? Well, I think what you do is you need to, to extract the properties of the plant. Mm -hmm. Sometimes boiling can, can do that. It leaves you with the properties that you need because you once you extract the water, the properties get left, and that's the one that is important to to make your problem better. But but here here we have the hundred percent natural um, 
with the full strength and everything i mean so uh if i was gonna make a choice i would come here rather than go to the pharmacy well i mean I, this is just well just um, me speaking <laughs> it's the other way around for some people yes they went or they go to the doctor and the doctor tell them well you're okay but they still have the same problem oh. now after they've used that energy or that uh, option then they try this option mm -hmm. and what the doctor can't help in many ways mm -hmm. ended here as a, as a, as a, as a success mm -hmm. they take care of their problem okay so that's why i'm saying western medicine local medicine mm -hmm. could complement each other all right then. the problem is there is no recognition by western medicine that this local medicine work but mm -hmm. that's just i think because they are so used to proving this thing scientifically, which is very important, mm -hmm. but also local knowledge too is almost as good as, 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 as scientifically proven too, because they have been using this over time. Mm. And for them to realize that this medicine works, during the course of time, somebody must have hurt themselves to find out, oh, this will work or this will not work. Mm -hmm. And so, and so it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a situation where it is, it is dealt with properly. And the, the thing that surprises me is they know how much they have to add to this medicine. They don't do too much of this or too much of that. And that's when you get the result. And, and that's amazing how people have that knowledge to do it. All right, then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you can see the disclaimer right here on the screen. That's the official disclaimer uh, for this video. And, um, and we will um, honor that and move forward. Yes, indeed. Now, uh, we noticed that uh, you, uh, am I jumping too fast to go here and say that you have a, a healing center place where people can come or, or do we have additional plants? Okay, yeah, okay. So, yes, um, I think you're right. Once people come here, some of them are kind of sick indeed mm -hmm. to move along every minute. Some of them come as far as the north and as far as the south mm -hmm. and some people come from overseas as well too mm -hmm. um, and so when they find this place they want to stay and do their healing mm -hmm. the healing can take up to three days four days or five days so mm -hmm. we have facilities where, where besides the center where they heal we have a place where they can actually stay and take their medicine and finish when that finishes then they can go back so we have that facility but we do have a we do have a center where the healing takes place. Okay. Um, you get your consultation, your talk, and you see what's your problem, and what are some of the some of the symptoms of what you're having, or how you feel, etc. Mm -hmm. Now, once that is done, then the the healer will will figure out or will decide through other means to figure out that this is what you have and that's when the healing starts and so it's either for a day for two days or just that you need to take your remedies and go home and prepare it yourself it depends on the degree of the sickness of the person okay so so a lot of people have passed through and 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 and, and use this place to do that kind of healing yes okay this is the kuhun farm now again this is very this is very common plant mm -hmm. kuhun palm very very common palm this is also a plant that is most used by both uh, indigenous Maya people as well as other, other, other local people. Mm -hmm. First, the leaf is what is most important. The leaf is important to, to build the top of your house. Okay? Mm -hmm. I was mentioning yesterday that the tropical rainforest or the resources are out here to mm -hmm. use it in a way that you can survive. Mm -hmm. All right. So the leaf we use to touch our roof. Mm -hmm. And once you ro once you, you touch it properly, it can gives you it can give you a, a period of about 12, 15 years before you can change it. You have to replace it. To replace it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And that is very important. So you don't really have to go to the hardware store and buy your, your, your roofing. You mm -hmm. can come here and you do the same thing and you get the same result. Home Depot. Uh, yes. <laughs> then the second most use, this palm here, uh, we extract the heart of palm. And this is where we get the heart of palm for food. Mm -hmm. 
especially those people who believe in not eating meat or vegetarian people. Mm -hmm. And during the, 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 the Holy Weeks, I'm sure a lot of people go and they extract the heart of palm. They prepare it for food, mm -hmm. and it's a wonderful vegetarian food. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is used by, by a lot of people. So, mm -hmm. so what I'm saying is, even if you don't cook it, you just want to break it open and eat it, you can eat it. It's edible. It's very mm -hmm. nice. Okay? So food is very important on, for this plant. Then the third use by some, not all, those that still believe in, 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 in the tradition is they use the fruit, mm -hmm. the seed. This fruit come in big bunches. They drop piles and piles of it and this tree is so common everywhere and so you can go and collect it. And what they do is they collect it, they crush this and get the kernel, the, the, the nut inside. Mm -hmm. They go through about 10-15 bags and they have a whole pile of kernel mm -hmm. that they further break and they cook it on the fire. Mm -hmm. The cooking on the fire immediately begins to extract the oil. All right? So you cook it for two, three days to so get the proper oil. Then you take it out, you fry it to get rid of the water, and you have pure Cahoon virgin oil. Cahoon oil. They, that's some of the best oil. It's, it's very, very nutritional, and it's, it's one of the best mm. because it comes from a plant. Mm -hmm. And that um, this is one of the oil that is not that is used not only for cooking but then it stretches to other to other uses for mm. example once you once you purify the oil once you extract all the water it becomes like this mm -hmm. so this is kuhun oil. oil i can take this if my skin is cracking and looks rustic and ugly mm -hmm. or my hair is is looking dry mm -hmm. i can take it and I can moisturize it and make okay. it look nice, clean, and shiny to, okay. to supple or to moisten the skin. You it preserves it. a little it. bit of that in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. There okay. you go. That's, right. that's, that's kuhun oil. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's, 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 yes. It's yes. very important to know that that is useful for yes. so many things. So the, that's one use. So the other use is we can take it and use it for massages. Mm. We can massage with this oil, mm -hmm. um, especially if we're going to do a fire cup massage, mm -hmm. we can use it and then it, 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 it is easier to maneuver on the body of the person. Okay. So, so the other use would be um, if um, we're making insect repellent, we take some of this oil and oh, we add it so add it, it to stays the, there mm -hmm. so that when you rub it on your skin, the, it will not it will not dry out quickly, it will stay there for a while. Blends in with the other. Right. Mm. So so that's another use. Mm -hmm. But going back to more of my culture, if I don't have any electricity, I can take this oil and I can make a, a table lantern mm -hmm. by make, putting this oil into a can and put a wick and lit it. Mm. And I can read without having electricity. So it's just a way of using the resources in a more friendlier, environmentally friendlier way so that you don't cause a lot of problems. So we can use this oil to replace, what is that, kerosene or something that yeah, burns? Ker yeah, kerosene, you, hmm. can, you, can use, you can use this. Wow. It, it, it works. Mm -hmm. All right then. So these are some of the ways in which we use this plant. Mm -hmm. so, um, this plant has other uses, so those, I'm, I'm just mentioning the ones that we commonly use all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all that's... Right. That's uh, something that we continue to do, and I believe this is a knowledge that will never go away, so it's here okay. to stay. All right, right now. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So the, the healing, um, what do we call it, a detox center, or what, 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 what's the name? We, we call it um, Mudge House. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, the smudge house is important, especially if you are going to be the person that needs the, the, the cleansing. Mm -hmm. the, 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 you want to cleanse yourself, you want to detox yourself. Mm -hmm. There are a few ways it, in which it is being done. But if you're talking spiritually, then we have, to, we have to do a little bit of smudging, a little like a sweat bath, mm -hmm. where you're confined. Uh, you, you're going to observe this, this, uh, this particular... Mm -hmm. um, uh, if it's the copal or if it's other incense, then we use it and then we, we let you 
experience it and then after a period of time however much you can handle mm -hmm. that's what you're going to take and then it's the feeling afterwards it's like you have gone to the river and took a nice swim bath and then you feel refreshed okay that is how it feels and that gives you more life and you become more energetic and you can see life like in an, through another window mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. after all it's not so dark like you think mm -hmm. it gives you a sense of, of of life and want to live and want to do something so that you feel better okay okay so okay. that's we have a little we have a little little uh, uh, structure there okay just to show the the way we do some of the smudging some mm -hmm. of the herbal baths and things like that um uh, when people come here, when they are sick, naturally it means that they are not well, mm -hmm. they are sick. So that person can actually contaminate other people. Hmm. So whenever we, we do the healing, we do it a little bit away from the, from from the, the, rest, of from the, the rest of the people. Mm -hmm. So this little structure right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we... I was wondering what that was. Yeah, it looks yes. like an outhouse. Okay. But it's, it, it's a little hut, or it's a little house that is away from the center, mm -hmm. but at the same time it's used for people to do healing. Okay? Mm -hmm. And um, I guess the name is, is here. It shows it. And what it is, is once you're, once you're going to be smudged, or you're going to take a horrible bath, you sit in here, you put this down, we take, we take the the the, 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 um, the incense. We put it into an incenser and we burn it. We put fire there and we put it in there and it it smokes you and we cover you with a piece of cloth hmm. so that you can actually absorb everything. Sometimes it lasts up to maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes. It depends mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. how much it is, and that is what it takes. Sometimes it's mild. Sometimes it can't be intense because mm -hmm. if you're really sick you need to get rid of it quick then we make you sweat a lot and get rid of that 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 bad feeling so and this is like a sweat lodge yeah it's like a sweat lodge mm. uh -huh. and then this is just one of them and sometimes we have to make a few more if we know we have a lot of people yes so maybe four or five people so yes so All right so so this is this is what we do so we do this again away from the rest so that we don't want to cause any problem and that we co are conscious of the of the fact that 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 we um, want to try to be as careful as possible. Correct. Uh -huh. Especially knowing now that we do have this pandemic and mm -hmm. we have to mm -hmm. be very careful. So mm -hmm. I, I, we are we are conscious about that and want to do the right thing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only thing that is left for us to to look at now are mm -hmm. the is the is the is the is the um, shop where we have all these other byproducts from okay. plants that, that, that um Wow. Uh -huh. And I guess maybe then Miss Aurora can show you all the specifics and she can explain part of what we are doing here to finish up there. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so when we finish this up, everybody going to want to get on the plane. I hope, <laughs> I hope, because, uh, I hope so because, okay, here's what we are saying. We're not forcing anybody to do this, but... We are offering a service that I think has tremendous um, result mm -hmm. and very good energy and really can help people through their life, especially especially those people that have gone through traumatic experiences, mm. maybe an accident, maybe a soldier that killed many people and now it's not it's been affected. <laughs> he don't feel good, right? Or, right. Or or those people who who never have who never uh, experience. A, a, a peace in their life. Mm -hmm. They're always back and forth and always making trouble or always they get into trouble for whatever reason. Mm. You should you should come and take time and, 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 and take care of yourself. Mm. And then we use this to help you to make that life much better for you. Balance yourself out. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, so, so and there are people who are suffering and don't know where to go. Yes. Maybe this would be a good way to let Introduce. people know we're here. Yeah, so that's that's our whole mission here um, to to help people. Mm -hmm. um, we have a few testimonies from other people, mm -hmm. um, and they were 
they were surprised honestly there's one instant when we are talking about the that uh pina we mm -hmm. that tree where we make the pina we mm -hmm. there was this woman on the cruise ship that came and she could not walk without her walking tree uh, whatever that is her yes. walking mm -hmm. uh, and her toes for the last 15 20 years is always paining her hmm. and she has to take pills to make it better for her for wow. the, she said for the last 20 years i don't know how true that is but that's what she said hmm. so i jokingly told her why don't you take this to help yourself mm -hmm. she said can this heal me i said you got to try it <laughs> it won't hurt she said okay you know what i'm serious i'm going to take a bottle mm -hmm. i'm going to take it i'm going to use it in three months time i will email you to see whether this medicine works or not or not i mm -hmm. said fine nothing wrong with that yeah and sure enough she bought it and exactly like she, three months later she mm. wrote and she said magic medicine <laughs> you know what she said she said that the pain is no longer there mm. in fact she's not using her walking her walking or trailer mm. like she used to mm -hmm. and she said I need another bottle. So what we do is she gave us her address and we sent it to her. Yes. She got it. And she said, if you don't hear from me the next six months, that means I have no more problem. Wow. And I haven't heard you of her. <laughs> now, it's not so much that I, you see I can heal people. Mm -hmm, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's for me to understand that at least there's one person that we can help yes. in her life. Yes. And that we made her life better. Hmm. And that she's feeling good about herself doing or thinking or talking about that so and, that's how we do it and it makes you feel better to know that you're on a, a godly mission of um, restoring life rather than destroying it that's correct uh, yeah yeah it, it gives us a sense of of our own success as well too mm -hmm. we are we're reaching out we we created this mission and we hope that we can we can we can reach that target and which is in a way yes that makes us feel good Mm -hmm. That's it. That is very good. It, it's a positive sign. Mm -hmm. It is telling us that we need to continue to do such things. Mm -hmm. So, so I guess that. Because I know it makes me feel a lot better when I can come and do a video like this okay. and share this information with people, okay. so that they can know that this is real. Uh -huh. It's yes. not. I'm just inviting you somewhere, and and it's a sham or a scam or something. Uh -huh, yeah. But this is real. Yeah. Well, here. We are honest. There are, there are people that come. Indeed, there are people that come and they said they want to try to do this and do this. They've tried it. And yes, indeed, there are times when you have to speak the truth. Mm -hmm. This one is going to be hard for you to, to fix because it's already in its last stages. Yes. All right? So it's, it's, it's it kind of harder to, 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 to heal. So we have to make... Um, uh, these people understand that it's going to be difficult so that they know that it's not going to be easy. Absolutely. So we have to be honest as well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes, yes. Well, we want to thank you uh, for um, for this um, botanical tour. Yes. And uh, we want to thank you for doing what you do. And uh, we, I'm sure that our viewers will love and respect what they see and hear in this video. Okay. And thank you. I'd like you. to so thank right. you as well too for yes. giving us the opportunity yes. to talk about ourselves. All right then. Yes, um, yes so sir. I hope this story is going to make mm. more sense for us so that we can well hope to see people come around or, yes. or we can help them whenever we have that possibility. All right yes. then. Thank you very much. Well thank you. Thank, thank you. you sir. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. All right.